You're out in space. You need a spacesuit to survive. If you do not have a spacesuit, you will suffocate and your eyes will blow up or pop or something like that. I don't know too much about astronomy in space, but something like that will happen. If you don't have this exterior suit to shield you, something really, really bad will happen. And it's the same thing with that armor, you know, shielding the golden heart. It's like we are, human beings are so amazing and our personalities are so adaptive in some senses at least that you can really be in awe in that the human condition, the psyche finds ways to resist and defend against certain things as a protective mechanism. And over time, these resistance patterns, defense mechanisms, what I really like to call them protective mechanisms, they get conditioned and reconditioned and, and, and um, uh, they become more and more stable. They can really become a core part of our personality. Um, sometimes it can just be like an in the moment thing, like pushing back, I don't want to do this. But other times it can be like a pattern that happens over and over again. And youth, although they're, much, they're younger than us, teens uh, still are, have developed those already to some extent and are continuously developing them. What a blessing it can be to work with them when some of those resistance patterns, some of those protective mechanisms are, are still getting developed and still in the early stages of getting reinforced because if we can bring awareness to that early on, then the young people will hopefully be able to make choices and employ, either employ those protective mechanisms when, when it's appropriate and not employ them when it's inappropriate and just become more skillful human beings.